Data source settings add more control, functions, and incoming connections. Let's dive in. The name of the data source can be changed in the basic settings section. By default, data source rows are sorted alphabetically by the nominated title column. Default sort order allows you to specify custom sort ordering or to turn off sorting altogether. Rows will show in order of insertion. In the app functionality section, default row display controls how users will see the rows in the app. Thumbnails may be displayed in list of choices controls for each item in the dropdown. The chosen column must be an image type. Label is the title text of the item. List of choices also has an optional subtitle that can be assigned. Default user interaction may be used to specify an interaction that can occur as a result of the user tapping on a row of this data source. Some examples include dialing a number, viewing a web link, opening a document, and even launching another screen. The last dropdown allows you to pass a column value into the interaction. Using the examples above, the chosen column would contain the phone number, URL, or document location. By default, the app attempts to download entire data sources. The Filter Rows to App option allows you to filter rows to avoid storing data that is not needed for specific users. Under Advanced Options, an external ID may be assigned. It is recommended that all data sources you create include this ID. Functions are available throughout the platform that require the external ID to access the intended data source. Restrict to group limits access to the selected user group. Users with administrator and hire override these restrictions entirely and are able to access all content in all groups. Enabling validate column data will check the data for each column to validate it against the specified data type. Connectors allow you to sync with an external source to pull in data to populate the data source. We offer several out-of-the-box connectors, including a REST connector. This enables you to connect with virtually any other cloud system on the web. The chosen connector will present settings to configure the connection, which includes a refresh frequency. Note that a connection must be established under Connected Data Connections before adding a data source connector.